What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be covering convergence. So if you guys know, a while back I actually covered this tweak when it was in beta. Now it's completely out of beta, it has been officially released and you can see right here exactly everything that it provides. So right here on the lock screen we have a slider, so you slide up and it's going to present you with your passcode or if you don't have a passcode on your device then it's going to automatically unlock your device so it's actually pretty cool now we can also swipe to the left and you're gonna get all your toggles right here you also have a brightness slider right there if you slide that up and down so that's pretty nice now if we swipe to the right it's actually going to give you your camera right here so that's pretty sweet too now you can do a couple of things right here first if you have notifications you can see exactly how those are presented right there you can tap on those and it's gonna automatically tell you uh, what that notification is right there it's gonna maximize it and make those other ones kind of fall into the background right there it's got a nice little animation so you can see I also have a couple text messages and an email right there but that's pretty much how that works you also are able to delete that directly from that notification just by hitting that minus button now you can pull down as well it's gonna give you not your notification center but some widgets right here so you can see that we have our uh, weather widget we also have CNN so our, like our RSS feeds as well as our calendar right there now right here this one right here this little bar is actually a empty widget so pay no attention to that I can remove that very easily but you can see right here just swipe back up and it brings you directly back to the lock screen so this is really cool and there's a ton of uh, different things and options that you can do with this tweak so I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what we can do right here this is just one of the themes so we're gonna go back here hopefully I can get through this before before my uh, battery runs out, I don't have 10% left, but you can see right up here at the top that we have a kill switch. So you can enable or disable this right here. Now right here below that, we have some theming options. So right now I have charcoal enabled. If we tap on that, you can see that we have three other options. So you have your conceptual, you have your default, and you have your thin. So these are the two that we had the last time when we uh, visited this in beta. So let's go ahead and check out conceptual this time. And right down here, you have some thin fonts if you want to toggle that off you can do so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on the thin font I think that just looks pretty nice right down here we have interface so you can change your background up a bit you can make it blur you can uh, turn down the blur either way you can also use your HTML lock screen if you have that installed just by toggling that on now coming down here we have widgets so we have four enabled right here I told you that one is just a blank so we're just gonna tap edit and we're gonna drag that out not quite sure why that's actually there it actually disappears if you leave it in the disabled but right now we just have the calendar RSS feed and weather and I believe there are some other widgets that you can download for convergence that are uh, completely compatible with this so we're just gonna tap done and we're gonna go back now right here we have the toggle so right now we have six enabled you can enable or disable whichever ones you want right here just by tapping edit just the same way you did with the widget so we're gonna go ahead and toggle that on as well as the ringer rotation we're just gonna put some in here just so you guys can see what this does so this is just when we swipe over to the right it brings up all those toggles that's what this page is right here so we're gonna tap done I'm going to go back and you also can change up your album artwork so if we tap on that you can have full screen medium or mini I'm just going to use mini to show you guys what that looks like and you also can turn on your battery percent if you didn't notice earlier actually I'll show you right now if we go to the lock screen you can see I'm actually pretty low so you can see that we have a red lightning bolt right there and you can see the options that we've changed up a bit but before we get all into that I want to go ahead and go back and I'm going to show you everything that we have. We're going to show the battery percentage and we're also going to jump into advanced. So we have our text options right here. So you can turn on the translucency. You can also override the color and you can change the color from dark to light, whichever you'd like. We'll change it to light. This is what the default is. I just had it on dark uh, previously. Now down here we have notifications. So you can show dismiss button, which was that minus button that I tapped at the beginning of the video for that specific notification. You also can change these square icons to circle icons. Uh, just by toggling that off you can also use custom icons right down here at the bottom now right here you have some miscellaneous options so you can change the lock screen dim delay which is nice so you can change this to 15 seconds all the way up to a minute we're just going to put it on a minute just because 
it'll be nice to have that uh, stay on while we're going through this video. You can also disable the charging bar if you want to do that just by toggling that on. And you also have disable intensive effect. So some devices may have issues with animations and this option disables the CPU intensive effect for a more smoother experience as you can read right there. So if you have an older device, then you might want to toggle this on. The iPhone 5S should have no problem with the animations in this tweak. So let's go ahead and jump back to the lock screen and we're gonna check out everything that we've changed. You also notice that nice little animation that it bounces right there at the beginning. And I just think that's kind of cool. So now we, instead of having that little uh, half circle on both sides, we have an arrow. So this basically obviously is still going to bring up the camera. So we're gonna slide back right here. Now if we pull down the uh, widgets right here, they're basically going to look exactly the same. The only thing that changes is this button right here. So we're gonna swipe that up and you can see that's exactly the same as well. But if we swipe to the right, you can see all the additional uh, lock screen toggles that we have right here. So this is basically taking the place of your control center because if we try to open up our control center, we obviously can't because that is the slider right there. So if we swipe back over here, this is all of our toggles and here's our brightness slider right down here at the bottom. Now the cool thing about this is you can actually access your widgets from that side as well. So even on your uh, control center, quote unquote, uh, you can access those widgets right up there at the top. Now you can see that we've changed this from a square icon to a circle icon just by toggling those square icons off. So that's actually pretty nice as well. And last but not least, we have right up here at the top right hand corner a percentage of the battery uh, instead of just that lightning bolt right there saying that we're almost out of battery. So just to show you guys quickly, we're going to go back in here and we're going to change up the themes and I'll go ahead and show you all of the themes just so you guys can get a good idea of what this looks like. And the really nice thing about this is you don't have to respring your device for anything. Everything just automatically takes effect and I just think that's a huge plus when you're messing with uh, tweaks like this because you really just want to get an idea of what everything looks like and then you can decide exactly what you want to do uh, or what options you want to choose just by quickly going back to the lock screen and jumping back into the settings and messing with things. So that was the default. Now we're going to check out the thin theme right here. And you can see exactly what that looks like right here. So it's kind of hard to see, but these are actually half circles. They're just a line right there on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, as well as right up there at the top. So in my opinion, a really cool theme, uh, probably my favorite would be the conceptual theme right here. So if we go back, let's try that again. I just like the way this looks. I mean, they're, they're all pretty good. It just kind of depends on what the theme of your iPhone is. But really, I'm a big fan of this tweak, and I'm pretty sure you guys are too, because that last video, everybody was going crazy over this lock screen tweak. So let me know what you guys think about the finished version of Convergence in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.